we were talking about underrated movies. Yes. So. So you have a top ten list. I don't of, have ten. Oh, so. But we, combined, we have, we have ten <laughs> because I have nine, and you said you had one. one. <laughs> so it's a great concept. The problem was I had a bunch. I actually didn't have a bunch, but I had two. You were inspired by a movie. I was inspired by a movie I was watching, and my movie is on this list. (laughs) That I was inspired by. (laughs) So, that's what happened. Oh, shit. So, what movie were you watching? The Wolverine. Oh, oh, that's right. You were. I think it's an underrated movie. Like, I think it's really well done, dude. Like, the way it's... Yeah, everything about it is... There's comedic aspects to it. There's action... There's fucking things that are badass. Hmm. Now, I... I mean, I can see where you're getting that from, but for me... And a lot I, of people shit on it. I, I kind of shit on it. Yeah, I it's fine, do. but I just think it's underrated. I need to I watch it again. I think I've only it, watched it I think once. it's better than what people give it credit for. And that's what an underrated movie to me is. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. So and you have a bunch that you... I, I, I was out. thinking of these. And some of them might be underrated. Some of them might not be. I'm not 100% sure. Mm. Because they're movies that... Some of these are movies that I didn't hear about personally. So to me, if I'm not hearing about it, it's not a big deal. I you guess. watch them? No. But I've, wa- I've watched these movies. I've watched all of these movies. But like at the time when they came out, I didn't hear a lot about it. Oh. Like it was a write-off or whatever. Right. Like nobody went to see it. Right. Everybody fucking shit on it. Yeah. And I'll kick it off with one that I thought was really well done to the book. I mean, I've probably seen your list. So. You probably have. Have you seen John Carter? Yes. Now, it uh, got that's shit a on. very good. <laughs> it got so shit on. Yes. And it lost a lot of money in the box office. nobody went and saw it. Nobody went and saw it. Yeah. But. It's really good. It's actually a really good it's movie. It's really good. And it's really, uh, it's really good to the book. Because it's I've good. listened to the book. And that is like... Listen to it. didn't read it. I didn't listen read it. it. Yeah, I don't read books. I listen to them. <laughs> That's I right. them I, I fuck with you. There's a lot of people out there going, fuck you, Tom. <laughs> but anyways, it, it was like spot on. It was pretty spot on to the book. Really? It was well done. But I think what blew my mind after, after the thought, it was like, I need to look at the dates. Because this was, was this written before Superman? Because... Him going to another planet makes him super powerful. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... That's, but, it, that's... It, but it's more about gravity for him and not the sun. Right. Yeah. But anyways, I was like, that's yeah, awfully convenient. <laughs> but but yeah, that, that, that was that's on my list. That's a great movie because I think it's underrated too. Because I think it's really well done. One, I, I, I think it's cool. You put some somebody who's never been... like You take them out of their element. Mm-hmm. As a, take someone out of the element thing. And put them in, see how they survive. Yeah, and it's it's fun to watch, especially if the, their body re, they react different ways. Yeah, and in this case, their body was reacting a different way. John Carter, Carter, yeah, Carter, John Carter, <laughs> fucking. Uh, but yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, I agree. It got shit on a lot. I think it was under. I think it's underrated. As I think. I think. So I think too. it's a good sci-fi. Because movie. I avoided watching it because I heard it was bad, mm. and I saw all the popular shit. I've about never how it lost. I've never read or heard the book. Mm. So. It's good though. It's it's basically what you see. I don't know how he transports his soul. So or whatever. you know what? It might be one of those things where it just doesn't tr- translate well to you know. to to the screen. For a lot of people, I mean, to me, I thought it was dope. Yeah, I liked it. A lot. I I thought it. I thought it was great. Um, another. I'm not going to do this in order because there's really no order to this list. Oh, there's not. I, but yeah, no, I didn't do like a top ten or this is my number one. No, I just, just did I just movies. did movies. Gotcha. So I'll go to one that we've talked to briefly before. It's came up in this, but I also feel like it was probably, it might have been an independent. I don't know, but frailty. That that movie about fucking the movie's badass. That movie is badass, and Matthew at the time, McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey and uh, uh, John the, Paxton. John Paxton. Paxton, yeah. Paxton, yeah. Paxton, yes. Paxton. He's the guy, the same guy from Alien. Yes. Yeah. And Terminator. In term, yeah. Well, and he was in Twister with Helen yes, Hunt. Yes, that guy. That's John, the guy. John Paxton. <laughs> yeah. I think it's Paxton, but, right? Yeah, it is Paxton. Yes, it's him, Matthew McConaughey. He's passed away recently. Oh, did he? Yeah, he passed away like. I didn't Three, catch that years I ago. I mean, yeah. it makes sense, but yeah, it's on my list because it's a movie that I really enjoy. I think it's great, 
I got, but, uh, what movie was it again? Frailty. Like oh, yes, Frailty. But when it came out, I didn't hear about it. So nobody was really talking about it. Or the new, it wasn't on TV or whatever. Bill so, Paxton. Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton. <laughs> but um, it's a really good movie. It's now, got a good cast. Now, what I liked about that fucking movie, dude, was fucking, um, yeah, died 2017. Oh, so, shit, that long ago. Yeah, he's pretty good, though. But that movie's so crazy because you don't know. I think it's the whole movie. I did not know through the whole movie if his dad was, was crazy, or, crazy not. or actually saw some shit. Exactly. And th- the whole movie, even even at the end, you're like, was the guy just brainwashed <laughs> by his dad? But or, Because when Matthew McConaughey turned on the one dude, yes, he saw, I saw your sins and all yeah. that shit, he killed him right there. Yeah. When he was taking him to the grave that he thought, whatever yeah. the fuck, right? And he kills him. Yes. And I'm like, is Matthew McConaughey crazy or was he brainwashed or... But well, did he believe what his dad said and then saw something more higher power? I think I think it's a crazy fucking movie. <laughs> to me, the end gives it away. To me, the end, in my opinion, I translated this, his dad was right. Because if you pay attention, when they show when he walks in on the camera, it blurs his face out the whole time. Like when he's walking, there's like a line that goes across and you can't see who it was that came and talked to the guy that he killed. So there's no evidence that he was there and met the guy that he murdered at the end so i think he's real i i translated this it was legit it was crazy. <laughs> it's a crazy concept a crazy plot it, crazy acting really good it was really it's it, really it's good great movie. was the shit yeah and i think i don't think it's as underrated as you think it is though. it might not i, I be. think there's more people who hire who yeah, have it yeah. to higher standards than I mean, there, might be. there might but be. There might be. But I can see, I guess, from the snobs in the film industry, you know. I just don't know. I just don't recall hearing about it when it was out. It was a movie that I picked up at the library because I thought it sounded cool. Because I was like, what's this about? This guy's an axe murderer. And then I watched it and I was like, this is fucking awesome. Yeah, it's But I had good. no idea about it like yeah. until I saw it at the library. Yeah. So I don't know if that classifies as underrated or not. No, it's. I mean, I, yeah, I guess so. Now I don't we'll know. Roll if, with it. I don't know if you've seen this or not, and I don't know. This we'll is an, see. this is another one that I didn't see commercials for when it came out, but it's got a really good cast. Christian yeah. Bale's like the lead in it. Oh shit! Have you seen Equal Equilibrium? Equilibrium? Yes. yes. <laughs> it's a futuristic sci-fi exactly. movie. Yeah. When he's basically Batman before he played Batman. Exactly. <laughs> but they were like in the future, you have yeah. to take this pit, these pills and kept yeah. you in line shit. Yeah. And his character had stopped now, taking I'm them. I'm not going to lie. It confused me a lot of times. So I really <laughs> don't know what it was about. I have seen it though. Because he comes in with, like Matrix dressed. Yeah. With the fucking glasses, the trench coats, and fucking blah, 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 blah. He's just killing people with guns. And yeah. And, and he has a sword at one point. Oh, yeah. He cuts what's his. Yeah. Tay Diggs? Is that the other guy? I don't remember. It's it's a, so it it is a black him. guy, but I don't know who it is. I don't know his name. But I don't know. I haven't seen Equilibrium in so long. Me either. I've only seen it once. I've seen it But I thought it was kind of cool. I think I watched half of it once and then watched it's the It's probably half a terrible half. movie. It's... But I, when I watched it, I thought it was great. <laughs> well, it came out around the same time like Batman Begins did. And mm-hmm. I know, I was like, Christian Bale, because I like Christian Bale from American Psycho. Yeah. And fucking uh, the dragon movie, and Equilibrium. Oh, the dragon that. movie was fr- pretty good. Yeah, that movie's dope. But that was after. I mean, that those were before Equilibrium. Yeah, Equilibrium came after, and it, uh, I was like, "This dude is going to be Batman." I was like, "Yes, he's <laughs> yeah. Batman." I can see that. I didn't see it until after I'd seen Batman, oh. and I hadn't heard about it. That was another library pick that I was like, "Okay." I'll grab this. It's got Christian Bale in it. It's probably good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, but I don't. But the thing is, I've watched it a couple of times, and I really can't tell you what it's about because I don't know. And I the, really don't know. I think it's like a fucking. I think it's like a fucking. He's like some government agency. They guy take. Or some they shit. take medication to like stay in line in the future. That's what so it shit. Is. And he had stopped taking it. Yeah. And then he was like trying to take him down or something. So it's probably not got a great story. But I thought it was cool. I liked it. Yeah, it's cool. I, I figured there's two, but there is two movies on this list 
that I only watched because I got them in Columbia House in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> the but 12 they movies up... <laughs> for whatever. Yeah. Well, no, we had like a, they would drop a movie at your house each month and you could send it back if you didn't like it. But if you liked it, you'd have to pay for it. Columbia House did that? I don't know if it's Columbia House. It was Sounds a like Netflix. It was a subscription, but it was movies like VHS tapes. Fucking VHS. Really? <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. So, the first one, I think the first one that I picked up was The Game. Have you seen The Game? With Ice T? No. Who's in it? Michael Douglas. Oh, when uh, it's like a high profile, like, uh, like he's being, like, he, he, he like takes, he accepts something. He's like a he's like a fucking Wall Street guy. I think or you're. I think you've. I, you had to have seen it. I didn't know if you'd seen it or not. But by the end of it, the twist, the twist on the end, kind of blew me away. But like, like he has like family members like send. Him, he's like, you don't be involved in this and all this shit. It's so he's like, no, oh, and he's running. A lot of times. <laughs> Does he do that? Probably. I think, have you I seen probably, it? I, I have seen it, but I have I've, I've watched it when I had a VH, VHR oh. v, VHR. VCR. You bring this movie up now? So you haven't seen it in years? Yeah, but I thought it was great. And I that was another movie that I don't remember hearing commercials about. But it was in the That 90s. one I do. That, I don't think I think I know it only by commercial. Oh, uh, okay. And I've never seen it. Because <laughs> I know it was like Michael Douglas in a thriller running around town. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> You don't know you what have you got yourself you, 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 you probably, You've at least seen the commercials. I've seen the commercials. <laughs> so yeah, they did advertise it. Okay. But I've never seen the movie. I don't think I've ever seen I've it. seen the movie. And it's really, I thought it was really good. And it has a twist at the end. If yeah. you don't, if you haven't watched it, maybe I won't spoil it. It came out like 1998. <laughs> maybe before. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's all fake. By the end of it, it's all like, and somebody put him like bought him this like fantasy spy thing, and when when they got it for him, like he gets thrown into all this crazy shit. But the very last scene is like the reveal that it's all fake. Get the fuck out! Of here. <laughs> yeah, that, that would turn me away from that movie. I thought it was well done though. I thought I thought it was I thought it was well done though dun, dun, for that type of ending. They have a bunch of music. It was well they have done. a bunch of music like dun, 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 probably. Dun, dun, dun. Probably. Give me your back, my son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not the <laughs> right at the same time. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, but up. but but the next one, since you said "Give me back my son," ransom. Are you no, gonna pull that? No, 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 I'm not pulling ransom. I'm pulling conspiracy theory. Oh, with Julia Roberts. Yes, with Julia Roberts. Fucking. I mean, that and 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 Picard, whatever his name is. Patrick oh, Stewart. Yeah, Patrick Stewart's Pat- in that. Patrick Stewart's in I that have too. not seen that movie in, in ages. ages. <laughs> so I really cannot give an honest it, opinion. He, I, I, I thought it was good. I, I, in my opinion, it's one of Mel Gibson's best performances, in my opinion. Mm. Because he's fucking crazy. Mel Gibson was the conspiracy theorist. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. He was. How real was he there? He's playing himself. <laughs> This is before all that shit. Yeah, yeah. You're, I mean, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Conspiracy theorist Mel. Julie Roberts is like, oh, I don't believe him. It was like, she's no. she's just hot. Fucking whatever. <laughs> Mel Gibbs is like, believe me. <laughs> I thought he did a good job as yeah, a crazy Yeah, person. he was pretty good. Not as good as Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt's a way more crazier person playing. In what? Uh, 12 Monkeys. Never seen Twelve oh, Monkeys. So good, but he's like he's like a sort of same character as as Mel Gibson in Conspiracy Theory. Same oh, type of character. Okay. He's okay. Pretty, he's, I'll have to check good. that out. So he does a similar type job. Yeah, but he's way better. He's at way it. better. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to check it out. All right, now these might not be un- like I said. These might not be underrated, but I feel like at least their performance in this. Is underrated. Split. When oh, the- it's James McAvoy. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, McAvoy in the uh, Bruce Willis. In the yeah, in the Bruce Sam Willis Jackson. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Split, now the performance. Split. Oh, split is the one prior. Ain't yes, it? is the one but with just the just guy. James McAvoy. Yes, when, and how he, he he fucking shapes shifts yeah. through. That's a great movie. It is a great movie. I don't think it's underrated, but it's a great movie. But I feel like at least his performances, because he didn't win shit for it. He should have. But he should have. He should have. Because, because it was he was fucking amazing. amazing. He did fucking different characters every time. Yeah, yeah. And he had like, I forget, I saw something about it. He played like eight or nine different personalities. Yeah. Like, and it looked legit. He, he was able to fucking transform them. Yes. Like split second. Like right there. And it looked great. I feel like it I was, think, at I least think, the performance is underrated. It's not the movie. No, that that fucking performance in that movie. That's an M Night Shyamalan movie, and that's fucking. Yeah, uh, there's one of my. There's another one on here. That's a great one, though, dude. Like that one, I really do love that movie. And and well, the last one wasn't terrible. The one where all of them were together, and I forget what the fuck it was called. I can't remember either. I Gla- think glass. It was glass. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was glass. <laughs> But that was a fucking crazy movie, too. Yeah. I liked it a lot. I, I did, too. I liked it a lot. It sucks that they were basically... Weren't they all dead at the end? Well, you don't know what happens. Because what ends up happening is they fucking... Because to me, the whole time, I felt like they all thought they had powers, but they didn't. Oh. But then by the end of the movie, it reveals like they did have powers. <laughs> and they were different. And they were... And the people that were it trying was to like... control them were fucking like... We were lying to you the whole fucking time. Look now. Ah! I was like, no. Fuck. But, but yeah. I didn't put a glass on here, but I did put The Village. You don't like that? I've only watched. That's fine. That's fine. I can respect like, that. I thought it was pretty cool. By I've the never it. watched the whole thing because I've tried. Mm-hmm. You know, I know what it's about. Yeah, I know how I, it yeah. ends. And I've tried to get the ending. I've never actually sat All down. All right, that got that's fair. Past the that's fair. But when I actually sat down and watched it, you liked it. I actually liked it. Really? I was like, "This is pretty fucking cool." And <laughs> I, I, I like the fact that by the end of it, the twist was it was modern. Like you're, yeah. you're in. If they're in the, like today's world, but they're like hiding away. But what kills me is like, how did they get away with hiding away for so long? Oh. That just triggered a movie in my head. But go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, no. But anyways, I because they were in this like rich guy's property from what I remember, and it was like all fenced off and shit. That's how they were away. So I mean, so is a rich guy controlling it all? But it's like a cult, be, because basically, yeah, it's like a cult, and they have people out there. But then something they goes down, and they have uh, to try to get out. <clears throat> So the the people that know the deal have these fake monsters that roam the forest. Yeah. 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 What the fuck? Uh, um, and one of them was some handicapped guy or something. I don't fucking remember. But anyways, by the end of it, I thought I appreciated the fact because I didn't realize that they were present day, not like old timey because yeah. they looked old timey, like on. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were like using. Yeah. It was like all like shit. fucking like, it was like professors Amish. and shit that had agreed to make this community, and then by the end of it, it fucking fell apart or whatever. But I liked it. I, I, I thought it was pretty good. I I didn't get through the whole thing, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> that's that's fair because like since I have all most of the movies on this list, <laughs> I, so far I've seen every fucking movie. I know you haven't. That's good. That's awesome. That's awesome. What was the movie that I sprung your memory on, or can you remember? Oh, yes. Last of the Dogmen. So, wh- when you... Cause, because uh, um, the M. Night Shyamalan movie we were just talking about, what yes. was that called? Um, um, Split. No. The one... The village. Glass. The Village. village. <laughs> Damn, this is the one you we just raved about. about. We just talked about. I know. That's what I'm saying. Two of them. <laughs> no. I'm saying, but The Village. Yeah. It, it was a hidden fucking gem. Like, you know what I mean? So, Last of the Dogmen is about a fucking Native American tribe that was able to hide away from everybody and, like, live in some mountains and live their way of life. Oh, wow. For, like, all this time. And then they they got discovered because Tom Berenger, the platoon, and (laughs) the substitute, and all these other, you know. Sniper. Sniper. Yeah. Yeah. So, Tom Berenger figures, because he was a lawman. it up. He's a lawman. Some guy came and fucking... Something, something happened. And he's, yeah, he figured it out. 
but he was able to go in the mountains, like deep in the mountains where no one was like, you can't go there. It's death. No one's ever came back. He's like, yeah. I will. And he goes yeah. and then fucking finds, and he finds this Native American tribe. And it's like paradise. It's like the Savage Land <laughs> and the X-Men. <laughs> okay. But with Native Americans, uh-huh. right? And fucking, uh, I'm just, and the whole time I watched this movie, I really liked it because I, I loved being thought like, hey, you could live in plain sight and yeah. nobody would know you're here. That would be the cool. The problem is, that would never fucking happen. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe so not. So that's probably an underrated movie. Last of I've the never Dogman. even heard of it. you never seen I don't think I've ever heard, heard of, of it. it. Last of the Dogmen. Check when it did out. it come out? 90, like, 98, 97? I just looked it up. Because it, as we were talking, yeah, 95. 95? Um, yeah. Because I it triggered my memory. I'm like, I gotta figure this out. Huh. Well, I've never, 1990, so, yeah, I, right. I, I've it, never heard I of like it. it. It's it's kind of cheesy. Yeah. Now Check this one this one's probably become more of a cult success than when it came out. But have you ever seen Lars and the Real Girl? Lars and the Real Girl. Yeah. No. The whole concept is Ryan Gosling. Oh, he's in it. He, he's the main guy. Ooh. And what happens is what you find out is like I think it was his mom died. Or something at a young age, and he's just real fucking weird, right? And this whole movie's about him. He buys a sex doll and says it's his girlfriend's, and he takes it to different places and like has it in like a fucking wheelchair and shit. And like everybody in the community like embraces him and is <laughs> like, oh, that's your girlfriend. You know, they're real nice to him about it. Yeah. And the whole thing is by the end of it, he. It's a it's more of a drama type thing. By the end of it, he's able to overcome whatever the fucked up thing happened to him. And he gets rid of this fake sex doll chick and is able to to be a normal person by the end of it. But, it is a sex doll. Yeah, but it's a, it is a sex doll, but he doesn't do... It's not fucked up in any way. He just dresses it up. It's like a big doll, but it's his like girlfriend, he now, says. Now, did he do this movie after Barbie then? No, this is way before. <laughs> this is way before Barbie. Like, this is one of his... You don't get a joke there. <laughs> I, I, a sex doll. I, I, it's I, a doll. I, I have not seen Barbie, but... I have not seen it either. I hear, I hear I things. Will, I don't think I will ever watch it. I, I probably will eventually, because Leia loves it, mm. and she has it. Oh, I'm yeah. just like, eventually I'll watch it. She watches my shit, so I have to watch her shit. Yeah. That's how things work. Yeah, but anyways, I think that's the list. And if you thought of any other movies, that's nine movies already. No, we went through ten movies already. Damn. No, I don't have any more. All right. Well, that was. I mean, I would definitely. I'm almost at that point in the night where I'm just like, <laughs> those two are for tomorrow. <laughs> it's over. That's fine with me. But anyways, those were ten underrated maybe movies. Tell us underrated what you think. ones we like, but whatever. whatever. <laughs>